Welcome back. The Utah legislature recently passed a bill that will lower the legal blood alcohol content for driving from 0 .08 to 0 .05. Now ads targeting tourism are running in local newspapers. This ran in the Salt Lake Tribune, a warning for potential visitors to Utah. A mock thank you note from Colorado was printed in the Deseret News. And this mugshot ad ran in the Boise, Idaho Statesman with the warning, Utah, come for vacation, leave on probation. They were all created by an alcohol trade group called the American Beverage Institute in Washington, D.C. In a statement, their managing director, Sarah Longwell, said, quote, It's no wonder vacationers from neighboring states such as Idaho would think twice about staying at a ski resort in Utah with such a law in place. One drink after hitting the slopes and you could be looking at jail time. Representative Norm Thurston sponsored the bill to lower the legal limit. They have no regard for the truth. They're publishing misinformation. They're spreading fear. It's an outside group. They're not from Utah. They don't represent anybody that I know of from Utah. But they're taking a position that they don't want any states to be any tougher at all on drinking and driving. Longwell's statement also reads, quote, it is a mistake to lower the legal limit to 0 .05. At this level, a 120-pound woman could be subjected to arrest, $10,000 in fines, hiked insurance rates, and the stigma of being labeled a drunk driver after having little more than a single drink. It's not actually true that a 120-pound woman would be, any 120-pound woman would be a 0 .05 after six ounces of wine. That's just flat out not true. I showed these ads to some patrons here at Bout Time Pub and Grub in Taylorsville to get their reaction. Uh, my reaction is that why would you want to come to Utah? Why not go somewhere else where, I mean, the, the liquor laws are so much more lenient? Utah, come for vacation, leave on probation. What's your reaction? Well, no one's going to come here. We're, we're seriously, tourism is really important here, and no one's going to come. Like, greatest snow on earth, but at the same time, you can't even have a drink. Governor Gary Herbert has announced the new drunk driving limit law could be examined in a special legislative session to evaluate unintended consequences. The law is scheduled to go into effect December 30th, 2018. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast.